are appealing for the same, like they wanted to talk to the government. So we give them a chance to talk to the federal government. It's left for you to listen to them and go above them. My name is Maria Mahaporta Mungo. I'm one of those captured on uh, that train with four of my children and my husband. Uh, we are appealing to the federal government and our families and everyone that can to please come to our aid. We've been here for 62 days in an unfavorable, uh, inhabitable condition, unimaginable. We've been sick. In fact, my one of my sons, two of them are even sick at the moment with no medical supply. So we're, we're pleading with you to please come to our aid. aid. My name is Sadiq Amgo Abdullahi, one of the captives of uh, the uh, Niger Kaduna train attacks. Uh, we are appealing to the federal government to once again uh, come to our aid. Uh, we've been here for 62 days. Most of us here are sick and we are not in good condition. And uh, every day the situation gets deteriorating. We are appealing to the federal government to please come to our aid before we start losing our lives. Hello, great people. Hello, great people. Hello, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, and great people all over the world. I am back again today. This is very, very painful. This is a very, very painful one. You are welcome back again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazi Namdekano. My name's all Mazi Okenna Okechuku. Known as Pierre Franchise and Watch Neke, the general. My great people, I hope we just saw the video, right? I hope we listen to what they just said. Now you begin to understand that all these people that you are seeing, they are coming for mission. You know why I'm telling you people that these people are coming for mission? Now, those people they hold hostage they are asking government to come for their rescue now ask yourself what is that rescue they are coming to give so that government will pay them money they will use the money for their conquest these people that you are seeing that they are islamist wahhabist slash terrorists they are coming for ethnic cleansing these people are gathering money so that they can be able to finance the agenda to come to take over everything that belongs to you uh you see it's very very painful you know when i was watching this video i was so i was feeling so bad because this is somebody's mother and every one of us heard what those women said. Some of them have a, a, a case that they are sick. They are sickle seller. They don't even know the condition of their kids. And if you people don't understand the video that we are just we just finished watching, that was a train station kidnappers, a, those people that terrorists, those people that uh, Islamist uh, jihadists, Wahhabi slash terrorists kidnapped 
You people remember the, the train they bombed in northern part of Nigeria? That some people died. They kidnapped some people. And some people, they also paid the ransom, they released them. Now you begin to understand that some people are still in captivity. In captivity. 62 days, they are still there. But I will shock every one of you. Because whenever I'm telling you people that Nigerian government by themselves are the terrorists, they are the people behind all these things. They want to crumble mostly the Biafran people. And if you see that woman that spoke last, he was calling on Yemi Osibanjo, on the fake pastor. <laughs> Yemi Osibanjo, fake pastor. That is there. They are killing their own people. That last woman that spoke, 100% she must be a Yoruba Odudua because she said that uh, he was in the same school with Yemi Osibanjo. 78 slash 79 as a law student. Now you begin to understand. Yemi Osibanjo, the vice president of that zoo coming, uh, Daminebu Zoo Corner here, yeah. he, his classmate was kidnapped. He was among them. They, she is now 62 days in the captivity, in the captivity of uh, Fulani, Islamist, jihadist, Wahhabi slash terrorist. That is what you are saying now. But you know what? When I'm telling you people something, you know, I always try to prove it beyond reasonable doubt so that you will get a point. So that you will not say that I'm coming here just to bring in things from my mind. No. I bring things according to what, I mean, their activities. What they have already showcased. That is something that I will keep on using against them. That is where my truth will be always come out. So that people will say, this guy is saying the truth. Because now as we just finish, as we just listen to, the, to those women and those men, they kidnapped. They are asking for, for government to come for their rescue. Of course, these people need more money to buy some weapons, to buy everything they need for their jihadists, for their, for, 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 for their conquest. That is what they are looking for. And I keep on raising the alarm so that our people will understand. Now, let me shock you, like I said. I hope you people are seeing that picture. The picture next to my video right now. After the video played, there is a picture next to my video right now. I want you to watch that video very well. Because I will shock every one of you. To tell you that the zoo called Nigeria knows who these people are. They have already visited them. They have already spoke with them then you will begin to understand that then how how they cannot track these people how then you begin to understand that all of them they are working hand to hand they are just looking for money to to finance their their mission now i want us to pay attention to this audio tape that we are going to listen now it's a video but i don't want to show it out because uh, because of the the channel but now pay attention to this Yes. I've spoken with them 11 times. 11 times. And aside me, I don't think any other person has done that. 11 oh. times. And what did they say? The first instance, they said um, they had their targets. Okay. On that train. Okay. That it weren't our parents and sisters or brother that they aimed at. But um, these were just in code necessary what they had to do with them. Okay. And what did they tell me? That um, the governor has been running his mouth. Okay. That's why they, 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 um, they came to his doorstep. And this is just the beginning, that they will go further than this. I spoke with them. They told me that. The only, the only relief we had was we, we knew, um, as at the time we spoke to them, we, that was um, two days before they freed, um, they freed um, the other guy, the, um, Alwan, before they freed him. I spoke, we spoke as at um, that, that was the last Monday. Wow. <laughs> now you understand. Now you understand that the political, northern political leaders, they have spoken to the bandits. Those people that bombed the train, they spoke to them. They sat down with them. They discussed with them. That is why they can be able to come out and begin to tell you what the bandit told them. That the governor is running his mouth. 
and the, the, the train was already on their target. They don't want to use it to, I mean, to kidnap the, 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 our mothers or our brothers. But what are they doing? They kidnap them. They know where the government is to go and kidnap them. They will not kidnap the government. They want to kidnap a normal citizens, the indigents, so that they can be able to make enough money. Now they're asking for money. Tell me what it takes the government to go and rescue these people. They are already 62 days in the hands of Islamics, jihadists, Wahhabis, ter uh, slash terrorists. Can somebody tell me the reason why? The man have said it. They visited them. He spoke to them 11 times. Nobody ever. That is a record. <laughs> you know, Fulani, that is how they get their own record. That is how, you know, I mean, when you are talking about their thinkers, when you are talking about the, 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 the people that are risen in Fulani, is whenever they spoke to, like, terrorists like this, like this man now, he begins to praise himself, that he has spoken with them 11 times, 11, 11, 11 times. And now he has taken a word. Nobody ever spoke to terrorists like that. And those people, they are still in the bush. They know where they are. They say they know where they are. So tell me, is Nigeria for you? Or Nigeria is for Islamists, jihadists, Wahhabis slash terrorists? Now you begin to understand. Let people get this and they will understand that this is reality, not fake. Good day. How about you?